Kingsley has been trained and managed by his dad since the beginning of his amateur career. You can see the knockout streak coming in. He's scaled his last 13 opponents. The man right behind him, smiling at the camera, is Jack Mosley, father, manager, trainer. For one reason or another, promoters starting a career without the launching pad of the Olympics, Mosley has never made a purse of more than $7,500 coming into this fight. He'll get 10 times that tonight. Maybe no fighter with such a big reputation has ever earned so little within the present context of economics and boxing. Mosley, 22 knockouts in 23 wins. His very first championship fight comes against a proven commodity, Philip Holliday, who's already earned a global reputation in part because of his unusual style. And perhaps Holiday has elected to make Mosley wait just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, here comes Holiday. Bicycle racer, triathlete, swimmer, fighter of extraordinary physical condition. The 1,493 punches in 12 rounds, second most ever thrown by a fighter in a 12 round fight. The only man who ever threw more, Zach Padilla, used to spar. 10 rounds a day with Shane Mosley in a 15-foot ring. So Mosley's seen this act before. Former welterweight contender Harold Volbrecht leads his fighter Holiday into the ring. Volbrecht with his back turned to you there. Had memorable bouts with Pepino Cuevas and Mark Freeland. Philip Holiday, 31 wins, no losses, no draws, 16 KOs. He has to work hard for all of his victories. His HBO debut, a decision win over Ivan Robinson in this ring, December 21. That's when he threw the 1,493 punches in 12 rounds, including 270 punches in the last two rounds of the bout. 133 in the 11th, 137 in the 12th. Let's go up to ring announcer Mark Biro for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mohegan Sun Casino on the Mohegan Reservation, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with Budweiser, the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, this Bud's for you, presents the HBO main event, 12 rounds for the IBF lightweight championship of the world. Ring officials assigned by the International Boxing Federation in cooperation with the local boxing commissions, President Robert W. Lee, Supervisor Walter Stone. Judges at ringside from Coventry, Rhode Island, Robert O'Brien, from Johannesburg, Soweto, South Africa, Clement Martins, and from Providence, Rhode Island, Robert Paulino. Your referee for this event from Windsor, Connecticut, the sensational Steve Smoger. Here now are the principals first in the blue corner to my right, wearing the cheetah design trunks, weighing 135 pounds. He is undefeated in 23 professional fights. He has 22 of those wins by way of knockout. He hails from Pomona, California, the 1992 U.S. Olympic team member and challenger, Sugar Shane Mosley. Mosley. His opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks, red trim and accessories, he weighs in at 134 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in 31 professional bouts. He has 16 wins coming by way of knockout from Benoni, South Africa, the IBF lightweight champion of the world, Philip No. Gentlemen, you're given your instructions at the way, and I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times and respect the bell. Touch gloves. God bless. What I'm curious about, Roy, is 
whether that graphic that showed that he hasn't gone more than four rounds in three years will be meaningful for Mosley. The good news is nobody's been able to go four rounds with him. The bad news could be that if Holiday can extend the fight, we may not see him as fresh as he'd like to be. You share the overwhelming enthusiasm about Shane Mosley, Roy? Yeah, I share the same enthusiasm because I saw him a lot as an amateur, and I thought he was a very good amateur, and I also knew that he could be a very good professional. However, when you have so many knockouts and you haven't been used to seeing a lot of rounds, it can be dangerous for you in that you don't learn a lot. Beaten in the semifinals of the Olympic trials in 1992 by Vernon Forrest. That's what kept him off the Olympic team. A lot of people must have thought that he was going to make it at that time. I surely did. Fought as an amateur at 139 pounds and has been squeezing himself down to 135 as a pro. Be interesting to see if that's the right strategy over the long haul. Well, it doesn't make a difference with uh, Philip Holiday because Philip Holiday is a really a natural welterweight. Holiday weighing well over 135 as he enters the ring tonight. Mosley probably didn't gain quite as much weight. He was down to 135 two weeks ago. In the early going, Mosley moving and Holiday not able to throw the nonstop fusillades of punches for which he's known. And Mosley going to the body when Holiday comes in close. Mosley can be a fierce, fierce body puncher. Mosley can be a fierce puncher, period. We saw Mosley land a right hand counter up and underneath. He's landed a couple of good left hand shots to the body and already Philip Holiday showing to Shane Mosley the kind of respect that he didn't have to show to Ivan Robinson back in December. No, because Ivan didn't have the punching power that Shane has. Shane is doing a smart thing by holding Holiday when they get inside because this is where Holiday can be dangerous. Shane's already making it clear. He's going to make it awfully difficult for Philip Holiday to throw, much less land, huge numbers of punches. Moves away when Holiday comes at him. He looks to counter rather than to lead. And he's going to the body whenever Holiday gets in close and punishing Philip. We're shortening the distance between them. Don't punch, don't punch. I'll tell you what though, Jim. Don't punch, don't in the punch. long run, this is also going to make Holiday much more hungrier to get inside. So if he ever gets a chance to work inside, he's going to work awfully hard. Don't punch, don't punch. Step Wrestle for punching room here. Holiday trying to get a right hand to the body. Shane Mosley clamping down on it with his left arm. Flip, he's trying to throw big bombers in the beginning of the fight. He'll pay the penalties later and he'll get tired with those trying to throw those big bombers, okay? I'll try to wrap up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, if, he, yeah, if, he runs, if, if he runs around, don't follow him with long punches. Just move him with him, yeah. with him quick, okay? But when you move with him quick, you've got to stay compact because he throws those body shots, okay? Put your hands down. Take a nice deep breath. Okay. okay. Come in, throw a lot of punches. Time him. He comes in, catch him with the right hand, left hook. Okay. The body shots there, take the body, okay? But continue to be cool. Okay. You're doing great. That was, I, I feel you won that round. Okay. All right? Take a deep breath. And watch the head bust. Watch him come in with his hands. He's trying to come in with his hands. You got good foot movement. That's good. Good foot movement. Right in. But make sure you're close. Come on, Harold. Come on, Harold. Continue to be cool, okay? And concentrate. Well, if CompuBox's numbers for the first round are accurate, then certainly Shane Mosley won it, landing 23 of 66 punches to only 4 of 45 for Holiday. Now, Holiday tries to build the activity level as round two begins. Break, 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 break. All right, you got it. Got untied. Watch it just come out of there all right.
Quick left hook landed for Mosley as Holiday came in. Holiday still unable to find enough opportunities to start beating a tattoo on Mosley's body. Because Mosley won't be still and let Holiday trap him against the rope. That's where Holiday needs his opponent to be at so he can get off. Hey, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch, step. Mosley setting himself for power shots to the body as Holiday comes close. Hard right hands to the rib cage. Now hey, pumping the punch, left hand. Step, step out, step out. Holiday trying to work behind the jab. That's something that he does hey, early punch, in the bout. Punch. You're locking up, guys. You're locking up. Come on. Once he gets the rhythm he likes, he throws punches from all angles. Right hand over the top landed for Mosley. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Step back, step back. Mosley, very economical. Takes yeah. advantage of all his opportunities, but he's willing to wait for him. Yeah, he's really waiting, and he's being very patient like he should be. Not trying to rush too much. Hey! One hand's free. Unlock on the other hand, guys. Come on. Is going, to, is going to tire himself out if he continues to throw these big punches so much. It takes a lot out of you to miss with a big punch. That's what Harold Bulbrecht was telling Holiday in the corner between rounds. Keep bringing that big hand forward. Hit it. Hit it. Quick left hand landed inside for Mosley. Holiday having to expose his chin as he leans in looking for punching opportunities. Step out, step out, step out, step out. Put your hand out. Get out so yourself. Far, Get out yourself. Holiday has been very difficult to land cleanly step on. Out, step out. He moves well as he comes inside. And so you see Mosley going to the body. Oh, Hard right step. hands and a left hand to the body by Mosley. That right. left hand right. was a was vicious coming. blow right to the solar plexus. remaining of real sports just a sample of the dates remaining in August on which you'll be able to see this program in which the now world famous referee Mills Lane continues to portray himself as the American capital of no BS uh, this is me and I'm gonna do what I believe is right and if I make a mistake I'm gonna tell you I screwed up I'll admit it all right let's get it on you show me somebody who's a good loser I'd like to fight him every day Let's go drink a beer. I love you. All right. <laughs> Maybe Mills is drinking a beer somewhere right now, enjoying boxing after dark. Take this title. And uh, don't leave it here. Hard-nosed judge in Reno, Nevada. A boxer in the gym for his recreation time and outstanding referee from Nevada State Athletic Commission, Mills Lane, profiled by Sonia Steptoe in this current edition of Real Sports. Round three begins, and Philip Holiday managed to jack the punch count all the way up to 107 through the first two rounds, but he's only landing at about a 14% rate by CompuBox numbers. 107 punches in two rounds is about half as many as Holiday normally would throw. The reason is because he don't, doesn't have an opponent to sit there and punch at. Now there's incoming going on here. Quickness and strength of Shane Mosley. Mosley now keeping Holiday away with the jab and landing the right hand behind it. Not too many 135 pounders in the world could show Philip Holiday the hand speed that Shane Mosley is exposing him to right now. He must have hurt Holiday. He has Holiday backing up. Some of those body shots, Roy, I think might, might be driving Holiday backwards now. This is definitely the type of fight that Shane Mosley wants. He can take his time, pick his shots, 
Dooley wants to do it. Holiday can't beat him fighting this type of fight. Yeah, I just started to say, it's impossible to imagine Holiday winning the fight if they're going to fight this way. He's going to need to do something to change the tempo of the fight dramatically if he'll have a chance to fight his own style. If he keeps fighting like this, though, he's going to be knocked out soon. Vicious right hand shot to the body by Mosley. Mosley able to be patient and pick his shots. We've told you over and over how Holiday would like to throw 125 punches per round. In the first minute and a half of this round, he threw a total of 10. Just can't win that way. Well, he's getting disencouraged because he can't catch his opponent. He's not used to fighting a guy that he can't catch up with. And Shane Mosley, though this is the first time he's been in an event hey, don't of punch. this particular step, step, rarefied step. stature in the sport, Hands up. seems utterly relaxed. He's having his way. He's doing everything he wants to do very successfully, and he has no worries, really. Off his neck, off his neck. No, 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 no. Left hand to the body, left hand upstairs. Holiday, if not stunned, certainly befuddled by Mosley's hand speed and power. Yeah, but Round three, very punch, big. Mosley can't get out of hand here. He has to maintain composure. Break, break, break. We're going to give you a shot of Philip Holiday's mother, who has traveled all the way here from their home in South Africa and who is unable to watch the fight as her son in the early rounds not able to get the best of it against Shane Mosley. And there's a look at the posture that Mrs. Holiday brings to the experience of her son's fight against Shane Mosley so far. She fasts for two weeks before his fights. Philip Holiday was able to throw 31 punches. About one quarter as many as he would like to be throwing. At some point, Holiday's going to have to throw caution to the wind and just go in and wail away, Roy. Yeah, but it's hard to just walk in and wail away on a guy that can punch like Shane Mosley. Had an early win over Oscar De La Hoya, later beat Rafael Ruelas. He has sparred in the gym with most of the great names in Los Angeles boxing from the last 10 years. Don't punch, don't punch. And he has a lot of ring experience, you can tell. Uh, he poo poos the, the fight with Oscar. He says they were both kids at the time. He's not trying to make anything of it. Good idea. He may get a real fight with De La Hoya somewhere down the road. Right now, he's 12 pounds away from De La Hoya's weight class. This is not the fight Shane Mosley wants. Push her off, push her off. Holiday putting his chest or, or his head on Mosley's chest now and just trying to push him backward. This is where Holiday wants to be. This is not the fight that Shane Mosley wants to see. Well, maybe Holiday decided I've taken enough punches from the outside. Let's see how they feel if I go in close. Get your hand out of there. But you know, we're coming to the end of the fourth round, as we, and as we pointed out earlier, he hasn't gone more than four rounds in three years. No, he hasn't. He's landed a lot of heavy leather early, and maybe wondering why Holiday's still there. Holiday, remember, is as well conditioned as any athlete in the sport. Holiday 
has a bunch of different ways of making Mosley use energy. He's holding, he's pushing, he's gnawing. He's doing everything he can to consume up some of Shane's energy. And he is not afraid. He's shown a lot of bravery here, just as Jorge Paez did in the first fight of the evening. Trying to wrestle you and suck up your strength for wrestling, okay? Don't allow that to happen. Don't wrestle with this guy. Uh, and it's also trying to hit you behind the head, so be, be sure you protect yourself behind the head. Okay, I still want you to go to the body. You're getting some good body shots in. I got you. And I still want you to hit him with a stiff jab because he's coming in. So get on your toes a little bit and just hit him with a jab so you can get your rhythm. Don't let him throw you out your rhythm. He's trying to throw you out your game. That's what he's trying to do by roughing you up and holding yourself. Don't allow that to work. Okay. Keep your jab, keep your composure, then, baby, keep your shot. jab in his face, keep them right hands in his face. But aim, aim at your target, okay? Aim at your target, always. We talked earlier about right, Shane Mosley's pinpoint punching and combination punching. Here you see the best example so far against an opponent. Very difficult to line up for that kind of combination. Four. Philip Holiday finally beginning to get the punch count up closer to where he wants it to be. Still not nearly in the kind of figures that he's demonstrated before, but he did throw 67 punches in the fourth. Harold Letterman, four rounds. How do you have it? Larry, the score is very obvious. Four to nothing, 40 to 36, Shane Mosley. I agree with everything you guys are saying about Shane Mosley, but there's two things I want to point out. Number one, I agree that he may get arm weary because he's throwing a lot of punches and he's, you know, a lot of arm punches. And number two, listen to this referee, Steve Smoger, double S. Steve Smoger. He keeps saying, get off the head, get off the head. But Mosley does this. He sticks that left hand, he pulls, out, he pulls uh, Holiday's head do down, and he whacks him with a right hand, and that's illegal. Watch yourself, that's it. Push off and work, push off and work. First time in almost three years that Shane Mosley has been into the fifth round. We'll look for the small telltale signs that his form might begin to break down as he becomes hey, don't punch, fatigued. Don't punch, don't punch, well, we already see a little bit of it because uh, 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 Philip Holiday is getting much closer to him than he could earlier in the fight. So we see that he's slowing down a little bit, but hopefully he'll catch a second win and keep himself going. What do you mean, hopefully, Roy? Well, I mean, you want to see a good fight. If he doesn't, then all these high dreams and hopes that we have for him are going to go down the drain. We want to see a great fight. There you yeah. go. Holiday is going to try to out-hustle him, use his conditioning, make this an ugly, troublesome fight for a, for a guy who's just a boxer. But that's classy Philip Holiday. That's the way he fights. And that's what he brings to the table. That and his indomitable will, which is part of what's helped him to hang in through four very difficult rounds and begin to get the fight a little bit more on his level. Pull out, Philip, pull out. The hands are loose. Pull out, Shane. Mosley trying to go limp and avoid wrestling with Holiday when Holiday grabs him and tries to throw him around. Holiday doing everything possible to tire Mosley out, as Roy Jones pointed out in the last round. That's what Mosley should be doing right there. Staying outside, making him punch, making him miss, and countering. He doesn't want to be inside pushing and hustling and wasting energy on other things. You get the impression, whether it's justified or not, that Holiday has finally come to believe that he's tasted Mosley's power and he can live with it. Yeah, and he's also catching up with Mosley more, like I said earlier. This gives him confidence. Hard right hand to the body by Mosley, but he's not landing as many hard shots now through the course of the rounds, as was the case in the first three frames of this bout. Who is that, that sandpaper? Give it here. That's another boxing after dark coming up on September 6th. Daniel Zaragoza against Eric Morales. 
Floyd Mayweather against Louis Leha. Have you seen Floyd Mayweather yet? If not, you got to be with us on September 6th. You don't have a chance. All you got to do is hook him on the chin. But you got to set it up with your jabs. Okay? And you you got to win because this is a, what? You, if you don't get this one, three more years to wait. We ain't gonna wait. Maybe four years? Come on, you man. got it. You got to get it. Okay. Seems a little bit early to whip, be whipping the horse, especially when he's gone out and won at least the first four rounds. But maybe he needs a reminder. Yes, he does, because he was starting to slow just a little. Now, well, I think he got sloppy in the fifth round, and the fifth round belonged to Philip Holiday, who threw more punches and landed more. In between rounds, handlers in Holiday's corner were putting sandpaper to the bottom of his shoes, trying to get more traction in this relatively small ring, Roy. Yeah, he was slipping a couple of times earlier in the fight. I saw him slip in his corner once. I saw him flip over toward the neutral corner once. Hey, don't pop. That's good. Very good. Ready to get out. Oh, good body shot by Philip Holliday. I mean, by Shane Mosley. Vicious right hand to the body by Mosley. The second one was low, but it was on the opposite side from referee Steve Smoger. He didn't see it. Another hard right hand to the body by Mosley as Holiday steps in and pressures Sugar Shane more and more. Jack Mosley probably a little bit optimistic when he said of Holiday he doesn't have a chin. All you're going to have to do is hit him with a hook, but you got to set it up with a jab. I think Holiday's shown a pretty good chin so far. Yeah, but push him off, Phil. Push him off. Holiday has kept his chin tucked, so therefore both hasn't really caught him with any good, good shots on the chin. I'll tell you something else. Holiday is making Mosley work hard, exceptionally hard. You know, fighters like Holiday Roy are always harder to fight than they look right. I mean, they don't give you a chance to set up, to think. They're Mosley switching guys. southpaw here, incidentally. Go ahead. They're just hard guys to fight. Everybody watching him from outside says, well, we could fight him. We could do this. We could do that. You get in there and you don't have time to do anything. Oh, you get in there and after doing this and doing that for four or five rounds, he's still there. And he's coming even harder. <laughs> and you've already been there and did that. And he's still coming. Mosley popping Holiday with the right while he was holding his neck with the left hand. Hey, don't touch that. Smoker came in and broke him up. More and more it becomes a brawl. The two fighters wrestling and tugging and pulling at each other as they try to land punches at the same time. And like I said earlier in the fight, this is not the fight Shane Mosley really wants. Off his neck, Shane. That's good. Go ahead. Yeah, but for all this trying, Holiday doesn't seem to be landing anything real solid, real effective. No, but it's the mental effect. He's getting kind of what he wants. Put your hand off. And sit. If you're in the corner, you want to see your guy always starting to get more of what he wants. Even if he's not winning, even if he's not landing the big punches, you at least want him to get the fight that you want him to fight. No. Look, we have to start start winning rounds. Okay. We have to start winning rounds. Halfway home. Seven coming. Alright. Well, now we're gonna start taking over Flip. We're gonna start banging a bit. Yeah. He's getting tired, he's slowing down. Okay, let his arms start moving. Okay. So get up to the wrestle. That's his style. So don't let him wrestle you, okay? Because then it's making you look bad when he wrestles. So just spin off, push him off, and on the break, he's trying to hit, so you better hit him back on the break when you're getting away from him. And then if he follows you, set him up. Do some feints, okay? Good work. Keep it up. Go straight into him, man. Ball him, okay? But keep your hands up when you Get yeah. that bitch out of there. Pop yeah. up, just take a time. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, halfway through a schedule 12. The seventh round begins. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. Punch output numbers have evened up in the sixth round. Mosley threw 78, Holiday threw 70. Philip Holiday still nowhere close to the 120 or so punches per round he'd love to throw. But he's willing to trade in close with Shane Mosley.
and they're trading power shots in the center of the ring. Let them out, Phil. Let them out. That's it. Remember before the push fight, off, I said, push fellas, off, push off. that what you find out in a fight like this about a fellow like Mosley is what he has inside. That's right. And now he's being tested for that. Yes, he is. To find out if he's game or not. We know what Holiday has inside. He's a proven commodity in that regard. He ain't going away. You're going to have to put him away. Now he'll be there. That's it, that's it. Work your way out of there. Philip Holiday pumping up and under with the right hand. And for the first time in the bout, Mosley gets something like a weary look in his eyes. As if to say, well, it's going to be hard work after all. Well, he's breathing very hard now, and that's not good. Put your hand out, Phil. Put your hand out. Remember that Shane Mosley's gone the distance only once in his career. He's never gone 12. Holiday is completely familiar with that experience. On the distance in four of his seven title fights. Mosley still able to land punches in bunches, but no longer with the searing power that he seemed to show in the first few rounds. Yes, and if he's just pity pat on Philip Holiday, you're not doing yourself much good. Holiday with a high rugby tackle takes Mosley into the ropes. Mosley backing up and trying to stay away. moment the crowd begins to boo a little bit as the non-stop action they had expected momentarily disappears. Moses arms must be tired or something. He's not punching, he's just moving around and the crowd didn't come to see this. They came to see some punches. And Holiday landed a flush left hook. This is this is where you, your strength comes on. This is this is your type of fight coming up now. Okay, he's running away. You just gotta follow him. Get on top of him. You gotta punch. Okay, you gotta put really more power behind your punches. All right. Fuck the awesome flip. Give me the towel. Carl Letterman, seven rounds, your score. Larry, 69, 64, Shane Mosley, five rounds to one. Per personally, in that fifth round, I agree with you, Larry. I thought that uh, Philip Holiday got inside but didn't land the clean sh hard shots, and I gave it to Mosley. But in that seventh round, Philip Holiday won the round. He's all over Mosley. Shane looks like he's tiring badly. Just like I said before, I think he's getting arm weary. If Philip, if Philip Holiday keeps this up, this could be a closer fight than we expected. You're going to catch it. But boxing is set it up. Harold. Here you see Mosley trying to find room to punch. Finally sends one over the top. the first one in which the punched at numbers were lopsidedly in Philip Holliday's favor, landing 25 of 64 blows in that round. By far his best stanza of the fight. And as the eighth round begins, Mosley continues to back up and try to stay away from Holliday. And you heard Harold Volbrecht telling Philip Holliday, keep going, just throw more punches. Does he still look like Sugar Ray Robinson? Well, not against this type of an opponent. Even Sugar Ray Robinson didn't look like Sugar Ray Robinson <laughs> against some opponents. This is a really hard guy to look good against, and we're, we're trying to find out whether the skill level matches the rest of it. Yeah, I see, Mosley, I see uh, Holiday, you know, pressing him pressuring him, but I don't see him landing real clean shots. Do you? No, and Moses also still keeping his composure. 
good body shot by Shane. Mosley thought coming into the bout that Holiday would be the ideal opponent to look good against because, as he said, I won't have to go very far to find him, and he throws so many punches that he'll leave openings for me. But he didn't know that he'd be coming like this, I don't think. Mosley losing the support of the crowd through these last three rounds. As Holiday has continued to be the aggressor looking for opportunities, and Mosley more and more seems only to want to stay away. Well, he's making Holiday miss, but the crowd wants to see him counter after he makes Holiday miss. For sure, for sure, sir. And shouldn't they? Yes, they should. That's what they pay for. Good straight right hand by Mosley. Holiday unable to land anything overwhelmingly effective, but touching Mosley with the leather, touching Mosley with the leather, just trying pull to stay out, pull occupied. Out, pull out. I mean, I, I'm waiting hands are loose. Your hands are for loose. Holiday. There is no Holiday to fight, obviously, but I'm waiting for him to land something no, really no. crisp, solid, and I don't see it. I don't think he can land something crisp and solid, solid on a fighter like Shane Mosley. Running away. But when you got him, you got a punch. When you put him in the corner, you got a punch flip. He can't win. Does he, he die can't, running? He can't win rounds by running away the like a coward. Okay. But when you got him, you got a punch. All right, come on, boy. Look at this. Round nine coming. All right, this is your time. You're yeah. gonna, you're gonna come on. You're gonna come back now. You're gonna show him. Come on, flip. Pull it together now. You have to catch him. You haven't catched Queen with a clean over right hand yet. Okay, and then try to get, set him up with some more body shots. Okay, don't throw just one body shot. Body shot, right hand, left hook again, okay? Okay, if the head is open, hit the hook the head. If the body's open, hook the body. Let's set it up. Okay, come on. Watch him. You gotta catch him with a good over right hand. I'm still thinking if you, if you catch him, you're rocking. Okay, set, set, set. round begins and there are a lot of Mosley supporters who wouldn't have thought that he would need to go into the ninth round against Philip Holliday. But it's, it's good he's doing this because he proves a lot to everybody at one time. They won't have to wonder can he go the distance or can he stay strong throughout the entire fight or can he deal with the pressure. He's proving all of that right here tonight. Don't punch, don't punch, don't he's had to be a real professional and he's been a pro. Now Shane Mosley appears to be catching his second win. At one point he seemed to be a little arm weary, but now he seems to be coming on again. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. Step up, step up. Hands up, guys. Push them off, that's it. Your hands are loose, guys. Oh, good right hand by Shane Moore. Now he's finding the mark again. 
now suddenly it looks like round one again. Mosley was crisp and firing combinations effectively. Well, a little bit earlier in the fight, we showed you a shot of Holiday's mom from Benoni, South Africa, Joyce Ann Holiday. Director Mark Payton tells me that he's been watching her and that throughout the bout, she has not watched a single punch thrown. She faces to the wall during the action, and when the bell sounds to end the round, she turns and faces the ring to watch what happens between rounds. It's an interesting way to watch a prize fight. There she is, she's turned back to the ring at this moment. To allow herself to enjoy the between rounds action and once they start fighting again, she'll turn to the wall. Coming in October, HBO's exclusive documentary, Where Have You Gone, Joe DiMaggio. Through the use of home movies and HBO Sports Signature and Rare Film, you'll see one of America's most beloved but reclusive icons as never before. HBO chronicles the Yankee Clippers baseball career and his life since off the field in Where Have You Gone, Joe DiMaggio. Here at HBO Sports, it's our fall classic. Technical title of the series is Boxing After Dark, and that's what it's become, a tactical boxing match. Here between Slugger, Shane Mosley, and windmill punching machine, Philip Holliday. Harold Letterman through nine rounds. Continues to show Mosley with a clear lead. And in the ring, the wrestling match continues as Holliday continues to work Mosley. And Steve Smoger asks Mosley to quit holding Holliday. Stay out there and box, guys. Come on. A good body shot by Mosley. He's landed a lot of good body shots, but one at a time. Hey, don't yeah, they so take punch, their toe. You're wrestling, guys. You're wrestling. Let's go now. Come on. Sir. Couple of leaping left hooks by Mosley. You see, now there was an opportunity a moment ago, Roy, for Holiday to punch, and he held instead. Yeah, that means that these body shots that Mosley landing one at a time is starting to take a toe on him because he doesn't want to get caught with one anymore. Now, it's Holiday holding where he should be punching that, like you said. That usually means something's wrong. He's getting hurt, or he's hurting bad one. Mosley able to land some vicious body shots in this round. Some of his best contact since the first two rounds. One punch at a time, but Mosley doing most of the scoring here. Don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. I think he's regained his confidence. He's focused again, and he has Holiday backing up. These are not points that Holiday is supposed to be backing up at. Outstanding combinations there by Shane Mosley. My daughter, on go. Frank, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. <laughs> yeah, Shane is really putting a hurting on Holiday's body. Holiday is holding more inside now than Moses is. And this is where Holiday is supposed to run supreme at. Yeah, Mosley has has left Holiday's rib cage red and puffy on both sides. He has pounded him viciously to both sides of the body. Oh, good shot he tried. That would have ended matters. Step, 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 step. Would have ended matters, huh? Yes, it would have. <laughs> Budding play-by-play -play man, Roy Jones, borrowing phrases from some of the great ones. But watch this guy's head. Watch his head. Dicky fight that. Doing a lot of wrestling now. We need these 
hands in. Okay. We need these hands. So he's tired. He's hurt. It's a leg, baby. You understand? It's a leg. Hurt. Go get him. Stay on top of his ass these next two rounds. You understand me? Stay on top. You gotta get it. You gotta do it. You understand? New IBF champ. You beat him every damn round. But come out of your know, This fight may not be as pretty and classic as you would want to see for someone like Shane Mosley with his reputation and his repertoire. But let's remember he's going against an undefeated champion. He's def successfully defended his title six times, who, who has a very difficult style to fight. Same Harold old. Letterman, how do you have it? Larry, I agree. I'll go along with the stylist this time because although we score an effective aggressiveness, Philip Hall is aggressive, but not effective. He comes rushing in, and Shane Mosley punches him. I got it. Eight Great. rounds to two, 98-92. Shane Mosley, it's all over but the shouting, unless Holiday scores a knockout. Sam Mosley, Harold, the way I've been scoring some fights lately, I would have thought that the Titanic would have beaten the iceberg. <laughs> but I agree with push you on, on this one. On. Watch your head. Shane fought a very intelligent fight tonight. He got caught up in... In uh, Holiday's fight for a minute, but he's beating Holiday at his own game right now. Shane Mosley has never fought past the 10th round, so this is his first trip to round 11. The folks in his camp insist that he didn't train or didn't spar more than 10 rounds at any time for this bout. I tend to doubt that. I don't think they would have come into this fight without having him spar 12 rounds at least once. He's really putting a bang in O Holiday's body right Mosley now. Mosley has landed virtually all of the hard punches in this fight, as far as I can see. Certainly in the last couple of rounds, that's been the case. He's been hammering Holiday to the body in the last couple of rounds, and I think he just decided to dispense with any plans for a knockout, quit trying to go upstairs on Holiday, and went back to raking the body as he did effectively in the first two or three rounds. Which was what was winning the fight for him in the beginning. Yeah. Hands up. He seemed to slow down when he started headhunting a little bit and looking to try to set Holiday up for a knockout. And he seems to have decided in the past couple of rounds, well, maybe that just won't happen. I'll take what he's giving me, which is the rib cage for a lot of points. Very smart thing to do. Weary Philip Holiday bearing in. It's the only way he knows how to fight, but no sting on the punches. Just a continual sort of arm punching motion for Holiday as he tries to put leather on Mosley, but without much effect. But tonight you see the difference in a good fighter and a good boxer. Mosley's the boxer. Yeah, Holiday has no balance. He just punches and punches, Three, and he punch, always depends punch, on punch. his condition to win fights for him. And now he's met a guy that can stand up to that, that also knows how to box. He's pull usually out, not going to come out too good in these type of uh, incidents. You like to swing good. Yeah, my head. Wait him, wait him, wait him on the head. Dominate this round. Dominate. This round. Dominate. Don't let him rash the jam. Do throw punches, any kind of punches. Throw him. Body shots, head shots, anything that's open, hit him with it. Look, pay attention to me. I'm paying attention. Okay. Any I'll wipe it up now. Okay. Now. Come to the people. I have to pull it down. Yeah. You must come with it. You must come with that over right hand. We need that over right hand now. Don't give him no no way to come out of this thing uh, on top. Take the round, Shane. You understand me? Take it. Hey, body shots, head shots. You can do it. You got it. All right. Let's go. Come on. Think, but take the round. You got the box. He's Jack Mosley portraying a sense of urgency to his son, Shane, demanding take the round. I think it's a very good idea in any fight that's likely to go the distance to go out and close the show and win the 12th round. Yeah, he doesn't want to see him rob his son. He probably seen it happen a few times to a few different good, great fighters, and he doesn't want to see it happen to him. That was a smart thing to tell him. Break, don't punch, 
punch, don't punch. Turn around. As long as he doesn't get careless, though. Philip Holliday has never in his career scored a knockout past the deep. Tenth round, so in all likelihood, Holliday is looking for the kind of miracle he's never before produced in his terrific unbeaten career. Push out of there yourself. Pull your hand out. He just doesn't seem to have that big knockout punch anyway. Nope. No, he would have to land about 20 unanswered blows at this point to get Mosley into the kind of trouble that could produce a knockout. And a few elbows and headbutts on top of it. Step around, step around. Put your head up, baby. Put your head around. Okay. So you're not tempted to say that Shane has taken any kind of a chance in being aggressive and going out with the mindset that he has to win the round. No, I don't think he is because I don't think Holiday can hurt him nowhere. Although he was momentarily oh, off balance there as Holiday went after him with the right hand, and Holiday could have knocked Mosley down if he tagged him on the chin right there. Yeah, but I don't think so. I don't think he's really strong enough at this point to knock Mosley down. Yeah, he was just back on his heels for a second. That's all. Left took to the body, one of Holiday's better shots of the whole fight. Mosley barely felt it. That's it, way to push off. All things considered, when a fighter Mosley's puts his head down in order to get close to the opponent, there's not a whole heck of a lot you can do because a good professional fighter can make an ugly fight out of any fight if that if he's determined to do that that's right just like what we just saw there that's it push in that off. exchange hey thoughts oh, let me in let me in let me in a little bit to go guys a little bit to go come on fellas. in my judgment holiday has just been outclassed in this fight that's basically what happened tonight no other way to put it some flat spots in the middle for shane mosley but he started fast and is finishing well Right inside, kind of a half uppercut, landed flush for Mosley. Break, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Holiday, no stranger to work, he'll keep at it, but he just hasn't found a way to damage Shane Mosley in any way in this fight. something a little bit more spectacular yeah it was not an aesthetically pleasing contest we can say yeah but he got the job done he patiently held on did what he was supposed to do and he got the job done he'll come back and make up for it i'm sure in his next few outings and joyce ann holiday's face might lead you to believe that she's already heard the decision <laughs> she hasn't but that's likely to be the way she looks right after the decision is announced as well you're right Philip Holiday never able to build up the rhythm and tempo which had carried him to six successful title defenses. A man who's accustomed to throwing 120, 130 punches per round It'll through 1,493 punches in 12 rounds in his previous HBO appearance. He was hundreds short of that tonight as we look at the final punch stat numbers. And you'll see that Holiday wound up throwing more punches by a margin of 71 but Mosley landed 66 more. So thus the huge difference in connect percentage, Mosley landing 41% of the shots that he threw to only 28% for Philip Holliday. Bring, uh, bring uh, Philip some water. The effective boxing style of Shane Mosley, limiting Philip Holliday's opportunities to throw punches as did Mosley's power to the body. I tell you what, though, Philip Holiday is about this classier game of guy if you go, as you're ever going to see. He's a guy who stays there, took everything he had, and took it to the highest degree. He took every little tool. He isn't really a talented boxer, doesn't have big power, but he took everything necessary and proved that he can make a world champion out of it. And I commend him for that. He's a sportsman who views this as a sport. He's been a champion because of his great commitment to training and conditioning. And he's probably just absorbed the first loss of his career. Let's find out as Mark Barrow gives us the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 
a unanimous decision. Judge Robert Paulino scores it 116, 113. Judge Robert O'Brien scores it 117, 111. And Judge Clement Martin scores it 115, 114. Unanimous decision for the IBF lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane Mosley. So a unanimous decision for Mosley in a fight that was scored perhaps a little closer than some of us might have suspected. 116-113 by one judge and 115-114 by another. And now let's go up to Larry Merchant with the winner. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Shane. It's been a long time coming. Your thoughts on the fight? Well, you know, Philip came in, like, like I said, with his head coming in, and it was a little awkward to, to try to get past the punches, but, you know, uh, you know I, I, I don't want to make any excuses on my performance, but, you know, I had the runs before I even came into the ring, like 12 o'clock this morning, and, uh, you know, it was hard for me. I came in, I went in at 140. I never went in like 140. I always went in like 47 when I come to a fight, so, you know, I was a little dehydrated because of that, and that's why I couldn't really throw my power punches like I, you know, like I wanted to. Here's my little son, this is right, Shane right. Jr. right here. I'd like to thank God. So are you saying this. that despite the fact that you won a unanimous decision, won a, won a title belt, that you are a little bit disappointed that you didn't have a chance to uh, show your stuff? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed, you know, in, in the way I boxed tonight. You know, I was a little sluggish, a little sloppy, but, you know, I, I mean, I, I know I could fight a lot better than that. It's just that I was, you know, a little weak. I don't know, I ate something wrong before I fought. And it just came out of me earlier this morning. I had to drink a lot of Pedialyte and, and stuff to restore my, you know, my bowels. But first of all, I thank, <laughs> but I'd like to thank God for, you know, for, for this victory. And I like thank my father for his support. I'd like to thank Big Bear for the, the great work. I'm Big Bear and Pomona, West Covina, out there on the basketball course. Wait a minute, I'm not through yet, Larry. LA Boxing. <laughs> LA boxing. And, uh, Everybody that's behind me. All right, thank you very, very much, and again, congratulations. And now let's go to Philip Holiday. Philip, you describe what happened in the fight for us. Oh well, he ran a lot, and uh, he made me miss a lot. I couldn't get my punches. I couldn't get my rhythm. I just have to congratulate Shane mostly. He put up a good performance. He won the title. That's what the judges saw. It. And I just want to thank my trainer for all the work we've put into this and all the work we've done. No, I did. I went there and I tried my best, and. Um, it's the Lord Jesus' will. He wouldn't want me to win the title today, so what, that's it. Is he the best fighter you fought? No, he's definitely not the best fighter. He's one of the strongest fighters. I fought guys he, he drunk, but he, he wasn't as strong as I, th I thought he would be according to his record. All right, thank you very much. I was going to say uh, thanks to my, for my trainer, Harold for all the work he's put in, for all the titles he defended. I congratulate Shane Mosley for a well, uh, good performance. I want to thank the Lord Jesus for taking me so far. For my family that's here, that's watching the fight, came and support me. My family at home, thanks very much. And my wife, I love you lots. Thank you very much.